Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of the model phase. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the steps menu and the available functions in the side panel, as well as through the system menu. Upon arrival in the model phase, the final calculated 3D model data are displayed for the first time. For demonstration purposes, we have already opened all functions in the side panel, and we start by explaining the tool palette. Since we are currently in the step Draw Margin, only one tool is available to us, which allows us to choose between drawing the margin automatically or manually. This means that, depending on the step that you are currently in, another tool or more tools will be available to you. Since the CEREC software has already automatically drawn the margin ideally, we won't make any modifications. Below, the array of analyzing tools is displayed. To disable the two functions, remove the blue check marks. The Display Objects window contains the buttons Upper Jaw and Lower Jaw, as well as a slider. Next, we continue with the View Options window. Here we see the Global View options. These include Top, Bottom, Right, Left, Front, and Backside. It lets you switch from one view option to another with just one tap. Next, we expand our step menu to the full view. By tapping the two parallel lines at the end of the step menu, all steps of the model phase are displayed. As you can see, each step is marked with a green check mark. This indicates that the CEREC software has performed all steps automatically, allowing you to change directly to the design phase after a quick check of the drawn margin. For demonstration purposes, we go back to the Set Model Axis step. This step displays the lower and upper jaw in the final byte occlusion, and the CEREC software determines the orientation in the occlusal, mesial, and buccal views. As a prerequisite for an optimal determination of the axes, a sufficient number of teeth adjacent to the restoration must be scanned. The recommended minimum is two to three teeth mesial as well as distal. The correct orientation of the axes has a positive impact on the initial design proposal in the design phase. We return to the Draw Margin step and briefly elaborate on the last step of the step menu. You can use the preparation analysis to check the distance to the antagonist, identify possible undercuts, and check the condition of the preparation margin as well as the surface before the initial design proposal is calculated. Should any critical area be displayed here, it is recommended to manipulate the prepped tooth once again and scan the respective image catalog again. Next, we switch to the system menu by tapping the icon at the upper left edge of the screen. In the system menu, we only look at the functions Save and Serona Connect. Should you not be able to complete the workflow through the manufacture phase for some reason, you can save the case at any time in this phase and then retrieve it from the patient database later. By tapping Serona Connect, you can send the model data to your partner lab via the Connect Case Center portal, either for a design creation or for the final production of the restoration. To do so, both parties need to have an Internet connection, as well as a Connect customer account. You will find information regarding the export function in our video tutorial on the topic of Export Options with CEREC Software 5. Next, we go back to our functions in the side panel. By enabling the model contacts, we can better assess whether the patient found the correct occlusal bite during the buccal scan or whether possible early contacts are present. To switch to the next phase, the design phase, tap either the corresponding button in the phase menu or the forward arrow at the bottom of the screen. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.